Hello, hello. I'm Chrissy Martin, and I'm here with Jennifer Starr, Executive Director of Foster Angels. And Chef Shockley, as you know, going to do a fun cooking video for the holidays. We've got, what are we doing, Chef? Well, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, so I'm going to make your grandfather's stuffing that I know your mother makes for you every year, but she was fortunate enough to share the recipe with me. We can share with some folks on her newsletter and Facebook page. Well, that's fun. I know that dressing uh, well, and I know <laughs> it's going to go really nicely with uh, Mark Nielsi Treviano. So, Jennifer, you and I should probably just go ahead and start drinking. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, I'm I just sorry. happen to have a glass. <laughs> well, Chef, we can get you some wine as well. Let's see. This is fun, and it should be a great match. The Treviano's real light and crisp. And it goes great with the wine. stuffing. And Thanksgiving is such a fun time to pair wines because we have the Treviano, goes great with the stuffing. We have our Monte Pulciano, goes great with the turkey. So you can have a red or a white, goes with either wine. And, but this one is just, it's perfect for this time of year. It's a really crisp wine too. It's great for parties. You always end up this time of year with with people coming over and you don't know whose mm -hmm. palate is exactly. what. So exactly what I was cheers. Say. Ching ching. Cheers. Most Nice. That's very nice. Really clean finish. Such very a good, good. one. Such well, a good. so we know this is a great November party wine. Tell us about what we're making. So we're making the stuffing. And I was actually quite surprised to find out that this is stuffing that your grandfather made back in Italy. But it's very similar to what we all do in the South. It's a southern stuffing, except it's all white bread. There's no cornbread in it. But the other ingredients are the same. We're going to have some celery, some onions, some sage, poultry seasoning, thyme, chicken broth. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to keep up some bread here that I've toasted off in the oven. I'm going to saute some celery and onions and a little bit of butter. I'm going to mix it all together, wet it down with the chicken stock, throw it in the oven. It's very quick and easy. I know Thanksgiving is a very intimidating time for a lot of people to cook. They get scared because they got the turkey and it's the big thing to put in the oven. So this is a real easy stuffing recipe. It seems recipe. like there's not a whole lot of ingredients. There really is not. It, I've had this every year for Thanksgiving. I've never actually made it. <laughs> Mom makes it, so. But yeah, that's what I learned when we were in Italy last year. The I think Americans tend to overdo Italian food too much. The Italians make so much of just a few ingredients that all the ingredients really shine and complement each other. And it comes out very, very well. And I think we tend to overcomplicate things yeah. sometimes in this country. So it's real quick and easy. So I'm going to cube this up and start sauteing some onions and celery here to go with it. Awesome. Onion. Well, yeah. so I, while he's doing that, tell us a little bit about Foster Angels. Okay, I'd love to. <laughs> so first, I just want to thank you guys for having me here oh, we today. Love, yeah, and, welcome. You know, allow me to enjoy good food and some good wine and talk about a cause that is very, very important to me and very dear to my heart, which is Foster Angels of South Texas. And what we do is we provide assistance to foster children all throughout South Texas. We are going to make sure that they have their basic needs met, food and clothing, their educational needs, if they have any medical needs that they need taken care of, we help them with that. But then we also provide kids with life enriching experiences and that's really the fun part where we get to just make sure these kids can have the things that every child deserves. Okay, we want, want to make sure they can go to their prom or they have yeah. you know, a, a cap and gown when they graduate or they can go to summer camp or take the ballet class if they want or play the clarinet if they want to. And you know, all of those things cost money and foster parents get a sum of money from the state and that's what they have. So if they have five foster kids and they're all getting ready to go to the prom, they're not going to be able they're to help them out with that. Right. So we're there to make sure we can help them with those things. That's so. really cool because a lot of um, nonprofits focus on the necessities which tend to be you know, food and stuff, but Medical, those right. Those positive moments in their life are so important, they are. and it's nice to have somebody who's actually focusing on those things as well. Right, because you know these kids had a hard life growing up. A lot of them have never even had a birthday party. God, so, you imagine? Uh, right, I mean, it's just it things that we take for like granted. Everywhere. You know, we just take for granted that, that these kids don't get these things all yeah. the time. So we make sure they have that birthday party, or we make sure that they have the things that they need in order to just live a good, healthy life. Okay, so because it's all they really want is to know that there are people out there that care about. They care about them, them. right? That's really all they want. It's ever. such a basic thing, and it is. but it's easy to forget it, right? You know, because especially they when don't they're not. Have it. Yeah, right. It's amazing. So they get to do those things that we just, God, we take them for granted. We really, we, we really, really do. do. We really do. That's unbelievable. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, chef. So I've got the celery and onion sauteing with some butter. 
and I've got a little bit of salt. I'm gonna let them just get a little bit soft, then I'm gonna mix them in with the breadcrumbs because they're actually gonna cook in the oven, but you wanna let them get a little bit translucent over here on the stove. So celery is a lot like onion. It kind of gets clear as yeah. it gets cooked. So. Okay, mm, that's a good tip. So you don't want to get too much color on it. There's times we do want color on it, there's times we don't. There's we don't. times we probably don't. Okay, gotcha. Well, so do we have, I mean, I am sad to say I don't know, do we have a lot of foster kids here in, in South Texas and Texas do. in general? We do. Well, we, Foster Angels focuses on the South Texas area, which is going to go a little north of Nueces, over to Laredo, down to Brownsville, and everywhere in between. Okay, gotcha. So there's about 19 counties within that region, and there's about 2,100 foster children just oh. in that region. Wow. In all of the United States, there's more than 400,000. So are, are those numbers, are you talking about kids that are currently in the program? Okay, so right. So the, the answer really is how many kids do we help is really threefold. There's those 2,000 or more that are in foster care. And then we also have the children that we help that are under CPS investigation, but they have not transferred to foster care. Well, they're not technically in foster right. care yet. Right, and it could be you know, a good family, but it's just so poor that they're neglecting their kids because they don't have the money to right. buy them beds or get them food or make sure they have school supplies for school. Okay. So we'll help those families too to, to keep their children and be able to not neglect them in right. that way. So, and then the third group is the kids that have turned 18 and age out of foster care. Because a lot of people don't know this too, but a lot of times when they turn 18, the state is no longer able to help them. And I've heard of stories where they're actually on their 18th birthday or dropped off at a homeless shelter because they have nowhere else to go. Oh my God. I know, it's so sad. But, but now the state is definitely making strides in that area and there are programs in place that are helping them stay in foster care So longer. you guys actually help those Children and we that help, are over 18 right, we as help well. those kids um, with, you know, they get tuition paid for by the state oh, if they're a foster child, but that, that doesn't pay for their books, that doesn't yeah. pay for their dorm, that doesn't pay God, for the tuition supplies Tuition is almost need. just half the battle. Right. Like, where's so the we, person that encourages right. them to mm -hmm. do And we help homework. the kids with all that. We, we make sure they have their books paid for, their, their living expenses paid for, so that they can go to school and just focus on that. Because that's going to make them better citizens in the future. Sure. And it's going to, it really enhances our community. So we're really making an investment in the kids and our community as a whole. Definitely. So, um, so we do that. We, we bought them their first suit for an interview. You know, or their first job, you know, we, we make sure they have nice clothes for their first job. and uh, Or if they're, you know, going to technical school, we'll help them buy tools if they need it. If they're going, you know, to be a mechanic or uh, buy a lot of laptops for the kids. So we, we just make sure they, they have the things that they need to, to succeed and to strive. It was fantastic. I mean, that's such a, it's an area that you don't think about when you talk about nonprofits all the time. Chrissy, I literally wake up every single day blessed. Just thanking God that I have this job and that I'm able to do this for these kids. Because what are you yeah. adding in there? Okay, so I've got the bread, the celery, the onions. I've got some thyme, a little bit of salt, pepper, poultry seasoning. I'm going to mix that up, pour in some chicken broth. I'm just going to put it in the casserole. That really is it. You're just going to mix all the seasonings yeah. together. It is so easy. Wow. And it's really fun. We don't make it enough year round because it's good with chicken or, you know, it, it should be a year round dish. But we, yeah. we think of it as being Thanksgiving and or Christmas with the Christmas bird, but it could be a year round dish. I love how the bread, it doesn't even look like your plain white bread. It's like Texas toast. It yeah. is. So. <laughs> nice and thick. I'm definitely going to use this this year. I come from an Italian family and they're going to love. Perfect. Yeah, she's from a brute, her family's from Abruzzi, just like my so. mom. And where the wine you're drinking right now actually. Well, we should cheers to that. For yeah, sure. we should. <laughs> and any excuse to cheers. That's great. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of poultry seasoning over the top. I'm going to put it in the oven 325 for about 25 to 30 minutes, and it'll be golden brown, delicious, a little crunch on top, and nice and smooth on the bottom. And then we get to taste it. And you get to taste it. Yeah, wait to take a taste. I bet. I bet it is a blessed job. I mean. You're taking a niche of our population that's in, in serious need. Yeah, and, and you know, the older kids, the younger kids sometimes because of confidentiality, you know, we, we can't spend too much time with them. But, right. But these older kids, I can actually, you know, we, we've established relationships. They can call me up and, and just let me know how they're, how they're doing and so uh, how things are going. It, it really is. It really is rewarding. Well, tell us how, how does somebody help? How can, if 
you know, if we want to get in there and feel as blessed as you get to every day, how yes. do we do that? Well, um, what we need most really are, are monetary donations. That will help us the most because there are so many children in foster care, because there are so many children to help, there's so many needs. Their needs I are bet so the needs different are so diverse. That yeah. we can use those funds and, and distribute them wherever that need happens to be at that time. I love that idea because then it's not like but like every kid's gonna get the same thing. Right, and that's it's, you know we don't we don't have that red tape where we say I'm oh, sorry this money can only be used for this or this money can only be used for this right. because you know sometimes we have things that come out that you know like I said are so diverse. Thank so, you. But you know different times of the year we can always use different items. Like right now we could definitely use Christmas gifts for the kids. Oh yeah, I bet they don't. They a don't lot of them don't. Christmas a lot of them like have never do. had a Christmas. They never had the joy of waking up on Christmas morning and running out there, you know, like we used to when we were kids, you know, and have that thrill. Yeah. And they, they just don't have that. So uh, we help kids from the age of zero to 22. And those kids right in the middle, kind of 13 to 17, they're the ones that are kind of forgotten. You know, we get a lot of gifts for the little kids. Well, you know, it's so much easier to buy for them. It kids. is, yeah. it is. But, you know, um, some ideas for those those teen years, you know, uh, iTunes gift cards, of course, are always oh, yeah. popular. You know, the girls' nail polishes, the boys, you know, you can get them some kind of aftershave or cologne mm -hmm. things. You know, boy things, girl right. things, or those things, you know, gift cards, you know, those older kids love just to for get sure, the gift cards. For sure, they to stuff right so um, all through the year anytime clothing for anybody within that that age group um, do you do used clothing or just new stuff B both both okay. we'll do both um, another big thing that we need is is luggage a lot of these kids just go from home to home and with clothes in a trash bag Oh gosh! I know. Yeah. So I mean, just a little thing like that. Your old luggage, instead of throwing it away, bring it to us. Let us yeah. give it out to these kids, and so they can, you know, have something where they can stuff. put things. Yeah. In. Because a lot of these kids go from home to home to home. So um, you know, during uh, back to school, we can use school supplies. So you know, it's it's by by time what we can use most. Well, can we can we go to your web? How do we get? Yes, kind of please. Our website, which you saw in the beginning of, of the show, uh, www.fosterangelsstx.org, and there you can uh, you know just browse our website. You can see thank you letters from actual kids oh, how that we put out there. Um, you can sign up for our newsletter, and I would suggest you do that. Um, and you can also like us on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook. Oh, that's fun. Yes, because the more likes we get, the more people we can ha get out to, and the more kids we can help. I will so, definitely. Thank and you'll, you. Let's try this because it's it smells right. really good. This is what we waited for. Hopefully, I can duplicate your mom's. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh. That is amazing. Oh, that's good. Oh. I like the 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 crunch. So. Oh, delicious. Fantastic. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed some great um, Southern Italian stuffing, some great wine, and of course, Foster Angels. I'm Chrissy Martin with Jennifer Starr and Chef Shockley, and you can visit us on Facebook, Twitter. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Cheers. <laughs>